One, two, three. Okay, so today I'm going to be walking you guys through how to get the most out of these virtual sparring videos. What we have down below are timestamps. So if after a while you've already done a couple of these sparring videos, you can just feel free to skip to round one and get started. To make this sparring video harder, here are a couple things you can do. One, you can increase the playback speed. This is going to be put at a moderate level for most people. If you're more advanced, just increase the playback speed. If this is too hard for you, then just slow down the playback speed. Another way you can make it hard is simply by having a one, two, or three pound dumbbell in your hand while you're doing it. Trust me, it's going to get increasingly hard the more rounds that you do. You're going to be doing three minutes on and one minute off, like a traditional boxing round. Each minute during the working round will be divided by reactive defense and counter punching. During the reactive drill and the counter punching drill, that's when you punch. During the defensive drill, that's when I punch and you work on your defense. So now let's break down each section. The first one we're going to talk about is the reactive drill, where you're going to primarily focus on punching with speed. All the punches will be labeled as such. L means left hand and R means right hand. Now this video benefits those who are of an orthodox stance in boxing. So if you're southpaw, this won't really be applicable for you. But if you're an orthodox stance, meaning your left hand is forward and your right hand is back because you're right-handed, then this will be beneficial for you. Now what it says after L or after R is the type of punch you're going to throw. So for example, if we're in your boxing stance with your hands up, if I say L jab, it means you're going to throw a left jab, which is basically a lead jab. If I say R cross, you're going to throw a right cross. If I say L hook, you're going to throw a left hook. If I say R hook, you're going to throw a right hook. If I say L upper, you're going to throw a left uppercut. If I say R upper, you're going to throw a right uppercut. And those are all of your punches. So during your reactive drill, you're basically going to want to react and punch as soon as you see the opening. So if I raise my left elbow, you're going to throw a right hook or a right cross to the stomach. If I raise my right elbow, you're going to throw a left hook to the stomach. And whatever variation of that there is. So if I drop my left hand, you're going to throw a right cross. If I drop my right hand, you're going to throw a left hook, and so on and so forth. Whatever opening I create, you have to go for it as quickly as you can. Don't focus on power. Focus on speed for that portion of the round. The next one we're going to talk about is going to be the defensive drill. During the defensive drill, you will be slipping, weaving, and blocking. So, for example, if I throw any straight punch, which is left straight or right straight, you're just going to slip, simply slip and move laterally with your head. Make sure to keep your elbows up and keep your hands touching your face. You don't want to do this. Keep your hands up here. If I throw any hook variation, you want to go under the hook. So bend your knees, squat, and go under the hook. Like that. If I throw an uppercut, which is a right uppercut or a left uppercut, you can feel free to just lean back. If I throw a body shot, any variation of a body shot, you simply just want to dip in the direction that the body shot is coming from. So if you're throwing a left hook to the body, just dip the elbow down, bend the knees a little bit, and that's how you block a body shot. Don't block a body shot trying to catch it away from you. You might create an opening and get hit. So just stay tight, tilt, block, tilt, block. If I throw a right hook to the body, you're going to just dip the left elbow keeping your elbows nice and tucked, and bend your knees a little bit and block. Block, block. 
If I throw it straight to the body, you can simply slightly rotate like so. That's it. That's all you have to do. The idea is to have minimal movement so that you don't unnecessarily exhaust yourself. When you're sparring, you want to make sure that you reserve energy for when you need it most. Exerting energy unnecessarily will cause you to get tired before your rounds are done. Elbows in, twist to block. You can also block with your right. Just twist, keeping your eyes always on your opponent. Don't look away. Don't try to block shots like this. You block shots in a defense position. You could parry a shot, but we're not really going to talk about that during uh, these sparring sessions. So now we're going to be talking about your counterpunching drill. During these counterpunching drills, I want you guys to focus primarily on power, throwing your shots as hard as you possibly can with your fists clenched and your arm tight. So during the counterpunching drill, the video will be slightly slowed down, giving you time to load up on your shots. Another key thing that you have to do is you have to do a defensive maneuver as you're loading up on your shots. So for example, if you're in your boxing stance with your left foot forward and your right foot back, hands up here. If I throw a jab, what you're going to do is you're going to load up on your shot by rotating, still keeping your eyes on the opponent, towards the direction that you're going to punch with. So if you're going to punch with your right hand, rotate to your right. And then what you're also going to do is you're going to add a slip to that. So here, slip. So you're taking your head off the center line, and then you're going to return a punch, which is a right cross in this case, or a right hook. And if you're going to the left side, for example, and I throw, let's say I throw a right straight, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to rotate and slip to your left, like so. And then you're going to return and throw a hook, a left hook. Or it could be a left straight, in which case you would just slip, rotate to load up the shot and the defensive maneuver, which is slip. And then you're going to throw a left straight. That's how you're going to primarily focus on your counter punching drills. Now, if I'm throwing a hook, you're going to weave, rotate and punch. So, for example, if I'm in my boxing position and I throw a left hook, what you're going to do is you're going to rotate and weave at the same time and return fire with, let's say, a right cross. So it'll look something like this. And if I throw a right hook, for example, you're going to rotate towards your left and you're going to do a defensive maneuver. Defensive maneuver, which is a weave, and then you're going to rotate, loading up the shot, and you're gonna throw a left hook. Now for uppercuts, it's very simple. You're simply going to lean back and then punch. You're gonna get into your boxing stance with your hands up, elbows in. If I throw a right uppercut, what you can do is simply lean back, that's a defensive maneuver, and then you're going to load up the shot as you're leaning back. So it's going to look something like this. If I throw a left uppercut, what you can do is simply lean back as a defensive maneuver, but as you're leaning back, you're going to rotate. And then you're going to throw a right straight as an example. Now, if I throw a body shot, you're simply going to block it, rotate and punch. So for example, if I throw a left jab to your stomach like that, you're simply going to rotate, blocking the shot, which is defensive maneuver, and also rotating puts you in a position to load up your shot. So it's gonna look like this, rotate, right. Same thing, if I throw a right straight to the stomach, you're gonna rotate, blocking it with your right elbow, and you're going to return fire with a hook or anything with your left hand. If you want to throw a hard uppercut, you're going to dip and rotate at the same time. So towards the direction and punch that you're going to throw with. So for example, if you're going to throw an uppercut, you're going to rotate and dip 
towards your left and then throw the uppercut straight up. Same thing with the right uppercut. Dip, rotate, come straight up. And that's it guys, let's get right into the sparring video now. Seven, eight, nine.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Congratulations, you win 